Hey guys, it's Alyssa here over at Books and Cats, and today I shall be doing Top 5 Wednesday. So if you have not heard about Top 5 Wednesday, it is a Goodreads group hosted by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes. I'll link it down below. Basically, it's a new topic every Wednesday. Super simple. This week's Top 5 Wednesday topic is favorites you want to revisit, which is really great for me because I've been thinking so much about some of my faves that I really, really would love to revisit. The first one that I shall be talking about is the Frog Princess series by Edie Baker. I love this series. I love Edie Baker. I finished it years ago when the series originally ended, but this is a new book in the series. It came out, I think, a couple years ago, and I don't know where it lands in the series, but I want to read it. I would have to reread the original books though because I don't remember a lot. It's been a long time. We're talking over four or five years ago that I finished it. I think I would enjoy it as much as I originally did because I actively read new books from her and another one of her series and I read a lot of her books actively so I think that I would still enjoy it. The next one is another series and that is the High Society Trilogy by Allie Carter. This series in my teen years was my jam. I love this series. It, it I mean it's obviously a heist trilogy. I love heists. I love where people steal things. It's like one of my favorite genres slash storylines and this series just I feel like it was so underrated and I just loved it so much so I want to get back to it and see again if I feel similar because I've over the past couple years definitely changed my taste a lot and I haven't done any major rereading and I think if I were to reread I would always have to remember that like it was there for me at that time and I might not actively like it but I liked it then and that's kind of all that matters. I would like to reread it and see how I feel. The next one is also another series and that is the Trills series by Amanda Hawking. Oh my god I was such flaming hot garbage for this series. I was trash for it. This one is definitely one of those that like while it was my one of my favorites and I relate so much of my reading to this series I don't know if I would still enjoy it as much again I could but I just would like to see how it is how I would interpret it now because I remember just loving it at the time so yeah the second to last one is impossible by Nancy Worlin <sighs> this is one of those books that I read <laughs> and I was I mean, I was trash for all of these books, but I was especially trash for this book. I remember reading it and it blew my mind, like truly blew my mind. It'll always like hold a special place in my heart because like I borrowed it from my friend at the time and like I'll always relate this book with her and it's just like so cool when that happens. Like when no matter what you do, you think of like a certain thing, object, media, and it always makes you think of that person and I'll always think of her and it was one of the first books I think like really the only one that I've actually borrowed from someone and I read and then I like called her and we talked about it on the phone and it was like it was one of the like the best bookish memories I have because it just I don't know it was while it was so minuscule it was still so cool because I hadn't ever done something like that I don't know a lot of people in my life that read and just being able to like call her on the phone and talk about it and like rant about it and rave about it was just so cool. I loved it. If you're watching this Ashlyn, obviously I'm talking about you. I don't know if you remember that, but I do. But yeah, I just would love to reread it and see how I feel. And the last book that I shall be talking about is... <sighs> these are all... If you were wondering what Teenage Alyssa was like, these books. Because I read these all throughout my teens. And it is Enchanted Ivy by, who is it by again? I forget. Sarah Beth Durst. Oh my god. This book is so, I remember reading it and it was such a cool concept. It's about this girl who goes to, I want to say Princeton, 
some super well-known like Ivy League college and she goes and there's like this secret magical system there's like gargoyles and magic surrounding the school and it is so it was such a freaking cool book I really want to reread it I haven't read anything else like it several of these books on this list kind of dance the line between real world and like fantasy magical world and I personally don't read many books like that currently um I don't know if it's just that I'm not interested in them anymore or if there aren't as many but this one dealt like that one and impossible dealt with kind of like that like different worlds colliding and I really 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 liked it they were really well done uh. ever the lady these are the favorite favorite books of my teens that teens and preteens really that I would really love to reread because they I still consider them my favorites but I would like to see how adult present me feels about them it would be interesting I might maybe I'll do like a project or something about that like a month where I dedicate it to rereads please let me know down below some of the favorites that you would like to revisit I would love to know I think that this conversation is always an interesting conversation to be had. If you like this video, you can go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on my social media. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I shall see you in the next one. Bye!